In this video, we're going to show you how to make production drawings of the mobile phone amplifier. Before you do this, make sure that you go into the school network and copy and paste the master sheet drawing for production drawings from the pupil drive into your drive. Open this sheet and then rename it as Amplifier Production Drawings. Your teacher will take you through the steps of how to do that. The first thing we're going to do with this sheet is edit some of the details in the title block. So the first thing we would do is zoom into the bottom left hand corner, double click on where it says drawing name and rename this to mobile phone amplifier. Once you've done this, click OK. Then pan the view along by clicking and holding the middle mouse button and moving the mouse until you get to the date and scale areas. We'll do the date first, double click this and enter today's date, whatever that is in this case. Now, you will find that when you start typing in the date like this, it will come up with this menu. Uh, just click cancel here and then finish typing your date. Then click OK. Then enter a value into the scale. The value for this, or this, the scale for this drawing is going to be 1 to 1. And I'll click OK. And now we're going to begin to put some of the drawings into this. So to do that, I move the mouse to the top left hand corner to base. And then I need to select my mobile phone amplifier from my technical folder, which is here. So I've done this, click on open, and you'll find that this preview comes up. I'm looking to put a plan, an elevation, and an end elevation in this drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the plan view. So I'm going to move the mouse up above the elevation here. I'm going to left click then right click and click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on projected from the top left of the screen. I'm going to select the elevation here. I'm going to move the mouse to the left hand. I'm going to move the mouse to the right hand side view here. I'm going to left click, then right click, then click create. Okay, I'm now going to reposition these views to better fit on my sheet. So I move the mouse to the elevation. I've got the red border appeals and I'm going to drag that down on my screen to around about here. I'm also going to bring the plan down from the top a little bit and I'm going to bring the end elevation across the sheet as well. Okay, at this stage, I'm now going to add centre lines to my drawing. So Anywhere there is a circle, I'm going to add a center line. You can see that on the elevation, there's an obvious circle here. There's three circles, in fact. Um, but I can add the center lines to this in one go by selecting a larger circle. So to do this, first thing I need to do is click on Annotate from here. And here are the center line options here. To add a center line to a circle, select this one here, center mark. So I'm going to left click on that. I'm going to bring this down to select the large circle. It'll turn red. I'm going to click and that's add the center lines to this circle. Now we can see that there are no more circular shapes anywhere on this. So at this stage, I need to add a different type of center line. And that's this one here. So this type of center line, I'm going to select. And what I do is, if I project up, I can see that this large circle is here and here. That's where they are. So if I select this line and this line, it's now put a center line in here. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the end elevation. I'm just going to put that center line in. Now I'm going to press escape on my keyboard. You'll find escape in the top left hand corner of your keyboard. For these two smaller center lines you just put in, you can also see that there's a circle shape here and also here. 
So I'm going to move the mouse to this green dot here and drag that center line to go through all of these. I'm going to do exactly the same in the end elevation. And that center line now goes through all of the circular shapes I need on the elevation, the plan, and the end elevation. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to label these drawings. So to do that, I'm going to click on the text button at the top of the screen. I'm going to start with the plan. So left click and then type the word plan and then hit OK. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the elevation. And then click OK. And the exact same thing for the end elevation. And then click OK. To get rid of this tool, I'm going to press escape key and I'm going to move the words for these to the set, to line up with the center of these views. I also want to try and make sure that the elevation and end elevation labels line up here as well. Okay, I'm now going to add dimensions to the drawing. And to do that, you're going to move the mouse to the dimension tool at the top left hand corner of your screen. Left click on it and then we're going to add all the main dimensions to this drawing. So the first dimension we're going to add is the overall height of the view. So if I move this to the elevation you see that this left hand line here turns red. So I can left click on it and drag in dimension out. Then click OK. We're going to do the same thing for the depth of the plan and also for the width of the plan. So these three dimensions I've added show the height, the width, and the depth of the amplifier. I'm now going to focus more on the elevation, so I'm going to zoom in on the elevation to make this a bit easier. And I'm going to add the dimensions for the depth of this cutout first, so I can select this line here and move the dimension out. And click. I want to add the dimensions for each of these circles, so I just move the mouse to the circle, click on a circle, bring the dimension out, and click. Repeat this for all the other circles. I now need to dimension the position of the center of these circles. So to do that, I want to first of all add the distance from this bottom line to this center line here. So if I select the bottom line, then move up to the center line, select that, and then move the mouse outward. I can add that dimension. And then from the left hand side, select this line, select the center line here, and move the mouse down and click here. And select OK. I've added all the dimensions I need to add for the elevation, so I'm now going to do the end elevation. And I need to add three dimensions to this the depth of each of the circles. So this line here, I can select that and bring the depth down. Okay, this line here, and this line here. Notice that where I've positioned these dimensions, they're all in one line here, that's called chain dimensioning. Uh, you should do the same thing, that's good practice, have them all lining up. I'm now going to add the points of the plan, so I'm going to pan my view so I can see my plan. And I need to add the distance from here to this line, so I select this top line and then this line here. Bring the mouse out and left click. I also need to add the depth of this, so I'm going to put the mouse onto this line here and bring it out and left click. And I also need to add the dimension from here to here and then from this line to this line here. So I select this line and then this line here, bring the dimension up. And then from the edge of that cut out to the edge of this cut out and bring the dimension up and select OK. That's all the dimensions that I need to add uh, added now. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to um, zoom out so I can see the rest of the sheet. And I'm going to add an isometric view in this corner here. So to do that, I'm going to move the mouse to the top left-hand corner of the screen and click Place Views. Then I'm going to select Base from here. On this icon here, select that and select your amplifier, which is here. And then click Open. You'll find that you can see the view of your amplifier as an elevation here. I want to select this as an isometric view, so I need to move the mouse to this view here.
And it's this little blue box here in the top right hand corner of this view cube. If I left click on that, you'll see that this is now changed to an isometric view. It's very small, so I want to change the scale from 1 to 2 to 1 to 1. So I can select this little arrow here and select from the menu 1 to 1, then click OK. Obviously, this drawing is overlapping with the graphic drawings I've created, so I'm going to drag this across. And then I'm going to label this as isometric view. And you'll remember to do that. I click on annotate, text, click below the view and type in isometric. Then click OK. We've now finished this drawing. So to save your work, move the mouse to the top left hand corner, to the file tab, select save as. Uh, you'll need to save this into your technical folder. So you click on this little down arrow here and select your technical folder from the list. If you do not know how to save your stuff into your technical folder, ask your teacher for help. <laughs>